Well, as we get into first quarter action, Coach, uh, one question about Cornelius Bennett. Do you think he'll be back for Penn State, or do you uh, think he's at the point now, or do you know? Well, I really don't know, Dennis. It's, uh, we'll get him out of the cast next week, uh, at the end of next week sometime, and and uh, get him out working and running and lifting some weights on that knee, and I think it's just going to be a matter of a day-to-day -day type thing as to, as to whether we find out whether he'll be ready for Penn State or not. Here's Doug Allen, did a good job for us <clears throat> returning kickoffs yesterday, and we start off, start off with Chester Braggs and <clears throat> Craig Turner at running back. I think Craig Turner had a real good game. I thought all our running backs did a great job. Yeah, they did. Day. Yeah, they did. You got you to know, play a lot of young players again yesterday, too. I tell you, Vanderbilt's defense gave us some problems very early, and uh, the problems that they gave us was a couple of alignments that we hadn't seen them line up in that much, and especially play that much. So we had to make some on-the-run adjustments there during the course of the game. And uh, then at halftime, we made a couple of adjustments that really helped us the second half. But uh, I have to hand it to our line. Our offensive line, I think, made those adjustments real well. And, uh, and I think it showed up in the, in the yardage and the first down and the, and the scoring categories. I was really impressed with their quarterback yesterday. He did a super job staying in the pocket and throwing the football. Pure freshman, they, were, they, they protected him well, too, Dennis. You know, if you give a quarterback time, and we were rushing three people, such as what's happening right here. <clears throat> we were rushing three people. Uh, much of the time, there's Derek Thomas, a freshman outside linebacker, who, uh, who is really playing good. He had a turf toe and missed quite a bit of work during the week, but he came through and played pretty well during the game. And uh, defense holds him there, which, uh, oh, great play by their guy. Great play by their guy there, keeping the ball from going into the end zone. They get us backed up on the four-yard line, but, but our, our guys do a good job of punching it out. And this is something we've worked extremely hard on, uh, getting the ball out of minus territory. We can't punt it from down here and uh, give the other team a real good field position. Bobby Humphrey had a great day. You can't say enough good things about that young man. He's, uh, for a freshman, uh, he don't play like a freshman. Uh, he's just not a freshman anymore. That's the way to get out, Mike. Don't take any <laughs> solid licks. Uh, but uh, Bobby just, he showed some, some things yesterday that he really hadn't shown. In the hole, inside running, picking his way and making yardage. You know, here's a real good catch by Greg Richardson. Good run after the catch. <clears throat> yes, it was. Yes, it was. That was the same play or a very similar play. He sprangs his ankle on that play. Uh, that was a very similar play that uh, that he had dropped a couple on in the, I think it was the Texas A&M game. So I was glad to see him make that catch and, and get a run out of it, help his confidence there. And we wind up the first quarter, nothing to nothing. You know, it's, it's, it's a battle in there. Stay with us, everyone. We'll be back in a moment. Coach, as we get into second quarter highlights, uh, Vanderbilt continues to play tough football. Yeah, they do, Dennis. It's, uh, it's like we said earlier, Vanderbilt always plays us tough, and uh, here's Van Tiffin making a field goal to, uh, to put, us, put us on the board uh, very early in the, in the second quarter. But I was a little bit concerned there about our adjustments uh, there at the end of the first quarter, about our adjustments uh, offensively against their defense. Here's a Here's their freshman quarterback, moves around in the pocket there. We're missing tackles on him, but he does a good job of getting away from him also and, uh, and making some yards out of it. That was Randy Rockwell there on the, on the tackle. They run the Statue of Liberty here. They tried to run it in the first quarter, and we had uh, we'd, uh, gotten them, given them a defensive look and caused them to take a little bit too much time on the line. Uh, here's a screen. They really ran a lot of screens and a lot of draws on us on our, on our defensive team. and. Uh, uh, really concern me there sometimes, quite a few times. Randy Rockwell had to play a real, real fine football game yesterday. He was one of our captains, and uh, he made the, made the play there a great play. He made several other plays really tight around people. There he is in on the tackle. They're big tight end, uh, who's a great player. But uh, the thing that concerned me most about our defense yesterday, uh, Dennis, was the fact that they're, they stayed on the field so long. You know, there's a couple of times during the game where Vanderbilt <clears throat> had the ball for 18 plays and uh, one time for 23 plays. Uh, and the longer they stay out there, the tighter they get. And then that's, that's when it becomes more important for our offense to stay on the field longer and, uh, and uh, control the football, which, 
which we did a good job of again, 36 minutes to their 24 overall in the game. But, uh, you know, you hate to see your defense just, just stay out there that long. You know they're going to make some yards. You know they're going to complete some passes, and we told them that. Just uh, be patient. Don't lose our poise and don't panic and stuff, and uh, just keep working, keep playing together. Well, they did a great job defensively the first half, stopping Vanderbilt on the goal line and, and making that's the right. field goal. Uh, well, that's the thing that we want to take a lot of pride in. Keep them out of the end zone. We know teams are going to move, move the football. There are a lot of good offensive teams. Well, I thought this was you know. a touchdown here. <clears throat> that great should pass. have been, and it would have been, but that's my fault uh, uh, there of not not having somebody else in the game. Greg Richardson sprained his ankle alert. little That's Clay Whitehurst great making a great catch. catch, and it was a great throw by Mike Schuler. I believe he's probably got the greatest eye-hand coordination of, of any receiver I've seen in a good while. He does that, Dennis. But he just, he just got a great desire for the football, you know. Got a great desire for the football. Here's uh, Bobby Humphrey going up and over, trying to make a first down on third and short, and gets it. Here he is here, <clears throat> making a real good cut. In for the touchdown off the off the toss play. He just played real, real well. I tell you, that's another guy, number 60, Hoss Johnson, uh, one of our offensive linemen, patting him on the head there. He's he's playing very consistent football this year. You know, all four games thus far. Uh, Hoss has played real well from Huntsville, Alabama, up there. Uh, here's a big tight end, almost picked it off in the air there. And uh, they do rule it. They do rule it as a, as a fumble. Bobby on the toss play again. Oh, he gets to the outside yeah. as quick as any back I've seen. But I started to say earlier, I was real concerned there, especially in the, in the second, Turn it on, first Mike. quarter about the, our offense making the adjustments. A uh, quarterback turned running back. You know, it's kind of made me laugh a little bit because <laughs> we kind of kid, we kid, kid Mike a little bit about having great speed and so on and so forth. But I'll tell you what he does, he gets it done, doesn't he? Uh, that's the name of the game. Yeah, that's right. He's a winner in every respect. Well, the offense uh, the last two weeks have seemed to have progressed, uh, put points on the board, move the football, and, of course, Mike Shula continues to do a good job uh, directing the offense. Well, I think the more success that you have, and especially the quarterback, uh, when the quarterback plays consistent football as Mike has played, there's Kermit Kendricks, freshman safety, that started the game for us, coming up making a making a real good play. Uh, when when a quarterback plays consistent football, that that gets all the other offensive players uh, uh, kind of rallying around each other and rallying around the quarterback and, and just builds confidence. And the more success you have, the more confidence that you should get. And that's that's where we are right now. You know, our offensive team is is building confidence as it goes. And, and you know, I think the line has has a lot to do with it because they're playing real well right now, playing together as a team. Is, uh, is the main factor. We're not making the petty mistakes that we made last year. Well, that's that great. That stop drives, you know. I tell you, after a, an open week next week, we'll get into <laughs> the meat of our schedule, so we're going to need all the experience. Yeah, that's exactly right. So far, our, our season uh, has worked in our favor, and it's just a matter of uh, hoping that it works and, and, and us doing our part to work it out from here on. Well, we'll get into third quarter action, and uh, I do think we see the offense explode this half. In fact, we, we scored 23 points this half. Well, we score, I think we score most of our points in the, in the third quarter. <clears throat> they come in and score, uh, score some in the fourth, but uh, I was pleased with the way our offense took charge and, and went out there. And our, our whole football team there for about the third quarter or so, our, our defense is taking the ball away from people. We're knocking passes down like John Hand did right here. And, uh, I just, think he had two yesterday, yeah, Coach, that he batted down. I think you're right. But uh, when the defense did turn the ball over for the offense, uh, uh, take it downfield and score. And that's, uh, that's, that's how you want to play. You want to play together as a football team, uh, both sides of the ball working for and, and with each other. Here's Al Bell with the, with the punt return, gained six yards on it. We have a clipping penalty, put it back. <clears throat> Here's a good run by Bobby Humphrey. He just he that's just got tough. great running that's vision. Tough. Okay. You know, he's got ability. You know, a lot of people have ability, but if you don't have the real good running vision, you don't do what you just saw right there. Here's Craig Turner on the draw play. We had some success with the draw play yesterday. We hadn't run it thus far this year. And great here's catch. a great catch by Al Bell. Big play in the passing game. Uh, we had three or four big plays in the passing game yesterday. 
Well, if there's anyone in the country who's got as uh, good receivers as Al Bell, Greg Richardson, Clay there's Whitehurst. Al Bell again, uh, great catching catch. the, making the touchdown catch. Well, again, it's just uh, it's a matter of, of working together and working and practicing on the things and uh, having a lot of confidence in the guy that's on the other end of it. You know, that's, that's what makes a passing attack. And the linemen having confidence that they're going to pitch and catch it so they protect for it. Well, it takes a lot of hard work, and you well know that uh, being a receiver, that uh, quarterback, receiver have to work together uh, quite a bit, and sure I'm sure do. that's uh, what goes on they in Alabama. Have, yeah, we've all worked uh, very hard, and uh, uh, there's a defense in there. We're getting a lot of people around the ball. You know, that's the name of the defense. Get to on the ball. All there right. you go. <clears throat> Greg Gilbert making the, making the recovery there on the fumble. Defense turns the ball over. Let's see if the offense can take advantage of it. And right away, here comes Bobby Humphrey. And it's real good to see Bill Conan out there in front of it. He pulls on that uh, toss play. Great, Great catch, catch by Thornton, Thornton Chandler. Chandler. He rolls over on the ball and bruises his ribs a little bit, but it's not serious. But uh, that was a great throw and a great catch there by Mike Shula and Thornton Chandler. Uh, Thornton's playing extremely well for us. There's a tight end uh, blocking extremely well. He's only touched. The only, I think it's four balls that we've thrown to him. He's got all four of them. You know, One thing made, I noticed about Thornton, too, when the ball is thrown to him, he catches it in his hand. Right. Here's Gene Jeffs headed for the goal line, and uh, we wind up the third quarter there. Uh, it's the option replay. Play. This is the option play. It's a replay of the same one at ground level, which is a real good shot at it. But uh, we don't run the option very much with Mike, but when we do, we have, uh, we've have we had success with it. It's, it's, helped us, it's helped us win games. I think this is the one right here, the uh, extra point uh, that uh, Just broke or uh, tied NCAA the NCAA record. record. You know, as, uh, a lot of people say Van Tiffin broke the record. Well, Van Tiffin kicked the kick that broke the record, but <laughs> it was Alabama that Alabama. broke the record because there were several people involved in that. And I think we take a lot of pride in that. <clears throat> Is Greg Epps making the making the interception in midair, and that's a great interception right there. Now uh, that was he was a quick just reaction. parallel with the ground. That's right. Great mm -hmm. running by Gene. Gene Jepps. Jepps picking his way, showing some real good running vision there, making some good cuts. Here's Mike Bobo, Tough fullback. Run. We hadn't played Mike quite as much as uh, much as we'd like to, and uh, but when he gets in there, he just plays, and he's he's a winning player. He's a good football player. But we were pleased throughout the third quarter and, you know, the starting of the fourth quarter uh, with our offensive, uh, offensive effort. But we get slowed down there. Here's, here's another draw play. Well, their guys are really running. We're missing a lot of tackles there. We've got to get some work on, uh, work on tackling. Of course, we've got an open date. And Coach, the end of the third quarter, Alabama leading 34-6. to six. Uh, You continue to get to play a lot of players yesterday. Well, you always like to play as many players as you possibly can, Dennis. We do anyway. We didn't get to play as many for as long as I would have liked to because even at the end of the third quarter when it's 34-6, to six, it's not over by a long shot, and I'm not going to approach it that way. And uh, But we did get to play quite a few players, maybe not quite as much as I'd like to. Stay with us, everyone. We'll be back for fourth quarter highlights. In a moment. Had someone to ask me yesterday after the game uh, the difference in having the defense on the football field and the, and the offense. Uh, why does the defense need to stay off more? Well, I think it's uh, it's more of a strain on a defensive team, especially the front seven. Uh, when you talk about playing a team, especially like Vanderbilt, uh, that that mixes the run and the pass on the early downs and uses the pass similar to a run. Uh, you're talking about rushing the passer, and you're talking about running back to get in your uh, uh, curl or hook zones with your linebackers, whether it's inside or outside linebackers, and you're doing that just about every play and running to the football the way that we'd like to see our people run to the football and get to the ball. That's more tiring than it is for an offensive lineman to come off and block a tackle or block a end on a running play and uh, uh, quite a bit more so. So that's, that's why we like to give them a little bit more rest and like to have, like to have the ratio as far as, uh, that was a big third down play there, by the way, uh, Mike Shuler to, to Al Bell. Then we got uh, 
got one sack and then we went for the field goal. And this is one of the very few that Van Tiffin's ever gonna miss, 41 yards. You see that very Most often. Of those like chip shot. But uh, uh, that's why we like, like to have the time of possession, uh, about like we did yesterday. We had it 36 minutes, they had it 24. But uh, still, there were a couple of times during the course of the game that they kept the ball and kept the ball and did a good job offensively and had a tendency to wear our defense down a little bit, especially in the, in the second half. Here's their, here's their offense doing a good job. Now they come in with Richardson, their uh, other quarterback, and a uh, real big play right here by Greg Gibbert. That's one of the blitzes that we used. Didn't have but a couple, but we used it a few times. And, Got him for a second right, right there. Big play right here. Good job throwing it. Good job catching the ball on the sideline. Over there, he moves around. He's like a jitterbug right here. Now. He's hard to get. <clears throat> I think he does a great job right there. Now they're mixing the run. They move it right down the field. I think that's, uh, uh, that's one of the drives that, that had to wear our defense down a little bit. Of course, we're substituting, trying to get as much out of out of everything that we possibly can. There was a little bit of a huddle uh, out there on the field as far as the onside kick is concerned here. Now, if a kicking team kicks the ball and uh, the kicking team touches the ball first, it's, that's a foul. Here's Biden Humphrey. Great, right. great run. And uh, he Somehow just played he nice find, he, he just finds the open daylight. And he finds, oh, look at those cuts. Look at that cut. Hold on oh, the ball. Yeah. Hold on the ball. <laughs> Here's Rob Roberts. I thought Rob had scored, his, scored a touchdown there. That's when the lineman scores a touchdown, that's something, that's something else, you know. And here uh, Craig Turner goes on, uh, goes in for the touchdown there with time running out, 40 to 20. But it's a good victory for our football team, Dennis. Uh, of course, last week and this week's uh, uh, victories are, are, are things that we can look at and try to correct. And uh, we've got a lot of work to do. We've got the meat of our schedule ahead of us, and uh, we've got to go about things of trying to really improve some things that we've got to correct. We've got an open date, and I think the biggest thing is that we've got a chance to get most all of our players back and on a healthy type basis, you know, prior to our Penn State game. Stay with us, everyone. We'll be back for final comments in a moment.